if you had to multiply these two brackets together, you would have ended up with x4. Now that would remind you, oh wait, it's probably the k method. So what we do is we look for anything that's repeating, there it is, and there it is. So we then say let x squared minus 5x equal to k, and so we replace everything or that part with k. See what I did? I just replaced it with k. I didn't change any brackets or anything like that. I'm now going to say 9k plus 20 equals to negative k squared. I'm going to bring the k squared over to the left, like that. This one factorizes nicely as k plus 4, k plus 5, and so therefore k would be equal to negative 4, or k would be equal to negative 5. Now remember that's not the answer. What we now do is we come back to here and we say if k equals negative 4, then we plug that over here. So we'll say x squared minus 5x equals to negative 4, then x squared minus 5x plus 4, and then you can make your double brackets and you can say x plus 4 and no, minus minus and minus. There we go. So x equals to 4 or x equals to 1. Now we need to use this one over here. So we can say if k equals to negative 5, then we could say x squared minus 5x equals to negative 5. And so x squared minus 5x plus 5 equals 0. Now this one, I don't know how nicely this one will factorize, so I would use the quadratic formula here. And this one gives us x equals to 3.62 or x equals to 1.38. And so there's our answers.